Happy Friday, everybody. Colleen Seeley here out at Fringe Quarter Fest here at Spanish Plaza. We are at the WWL Love Louisiana stage here with Sax Kicks M. Yes, What's sir. Up? Yes, sir. All right, tell everybody your names. What's happening, man? You go first. I'm Albert. Albert? I'm, I'm Alfred. And Alfred. Yeah. It's easy to get mixed up, people. Yeah, be right? yeah we, we look be just alike. It's My dad does it, which is weird because there's some cosmetic differences. Yeah, you it's the bun. The bun, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just the bun. Yeah, and the glasses. Yep. <laughs> That's the biggest difference between us. Exactly. Like societally. And I would say the bun, too. But um, yeah, so you guys are performing today. What time, where? Uh, two o'clock at the Jack Daniels stage. It's going to be right super, there. super If dope. you can see that behind us, there's a band up there right now on the Jack Daniels stage. That's where we'll be at 210. Yeah, so come on out. Yep, yep. If you're on the couch right now, watching this on your Facebook, on your IG, or whatever, come on out here for 210. Yes. And Spanish Plaza. This is where we're at. Just left of the French Quarter looking at Jackson Square. Now tell me about how you guys got together. Indeed. Good. Where were we? We were on the road, right? We were on the road. Specifically, Detroit is a city that I remember where we really like kind of locked in and started chopping game. Um, he was formerly in uh, Tank of the Bangers. I opened one of those tours, got to got to know my man. We started like chopping game. I actually have the very first picture we ever took together. Aww. Um, and after that, you know, we just kind of started talking and we got in the studio, made some music, started laughing and Sax Kicks Ave was born. You just hit it off. So you guys met on tour, two yes. separate tours. Yeah, and we were like cool together. We were like made the same jokes, kind of like enjoyed the same stuff and just kind of gravitated towards each other. For sure. And then uh, our manager, Tavia, was like, y'all should get together in the studio. So we get together in the studio and we make one song for like three hours, but we also laughed for like two and a half hours. True indeed. And made like 30 minutes of music. So it was really cool and it was a good fit. The manager obviously saw the chemistry there between you two. Now we've had you both on the morning show before. Yes. What makes your shindig unique? You go. Ooh, what makes our shindig unique? Sh uh, unique shindig. Um, hmm, Can I have point. an alternate pronunciation for hey, shindig? Uh, Language of origin? Your duo. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, your okay, our duo. It's actually really, I don't know, man, I think uh, sense of humor is very important to us, but we take our music extremely serious, you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're, we're uh, musicians first, and uh, we kind of use sense of humor as a way to kind of, like, translate it. Um, and so I think that's what kind of differentiates us from a lot of different bands. And... Uh, I mean, I'll just say it, we're like really, really good. High level of craft, and Alfred is one of the best rappers in the city and the world, and I'm a very good instrumentalist, so we bring that together in a way that is like, you know, a lot of hip hop right now is very programmed, and it's very excellent, and it's actually probably never been better because more excellent people can share this stuff because of the Dude. democratization of distributing music on the internet. Um, but like, we have something unique to contribute because we have what a combined like 40 years of live performance Pretty much. experience. <laughs> so we just have like a unique thing with being funny, but also we're like, hey, let's be funny, but kind of with a point and with this like elite level of craft and just like goofing around and it's like maybe we say something um and you know what entertainment at all costs that's 100%. what it's about yeah, and what's funny is that because you guys are so unique and have, for those who have not watched them perform before do so because they are not like any other band and you have original music as well oh yeah yeah and i actually saw your saxophone videos in my facebook feed i'm like how do we become friends this is before they came on the morning show we actually were in a saxophone jazz workshop <laughs> years ago at tipatina's and snug harbor and met mutually through somebody else, and then what, 15 years later, yes. I was like, this guy looks familiar. How do we know this? This is a mutual friend. And then we just met at the studio, are. yeah. We were, yeah. At, we were at WWO, and I was like, that's Colleen. Yeah. yeah. I think you hit me up on Facebook afterwards, and I was like, the last message was from like 2012. <laughs> it's a different timeline, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, with Tank and the Bangas, have you performed with her too, or was um, you did? That was Albert. Oh, together? yeah, yeah. I was in okay. that band for uh, almost 10 years, like nine years, yeah. That's where we met. We were, he was opening for us, and we were on the road, and that's where we all met. Exactly. Okay, gotcha. And I heard that you got mixed up with one of her saxophone players. It's so funny. My good buddy, Etienne Stoufflé, like, uh, you know, he's he's uh, he's got his own thing going on now, and he's, uh, he's uh, you know, I don't want to put him on blast or make any statements he's about, putting you on blast. about his relationship status, but back in the day when he was uh, a young buck, roaming wild and free, so to speak, uh, he would be on the dating apps and get confused with me for whatever reason. And this actually led to a hilarious incident where somebody messaged him. He was like talking to somebody on Tinder or somebody. And then they went to my profile and I have a girlfriend and, and make it known and have for a long time, like six years. Are you still together? Yeah, N not like six years. It is six years. <laughs> Love you, babe. And he got hit up because they went saw his they saw my profile based on his Tinder profile, and they were like, why are you lying to me? 
why do you have a girlfriend? You told me you were single. And they was like, and he was just like, ha, 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 that's a different person. And they were like, no, bro. Why are you, why are you trying to run game on me? And he was like, this is ridiculous. Like, so I don't know how we get mixed up, but it's happened a lot. He would walk out on stage um, when I wasn't on tour with the band and people would be like, Albert, <laughs> what's up? I don't look anything it's alike. It's so funny. We don't look anything alike. Beautiful man. Yeah. But we don't look guys. anything alike. You know? So that's how he figured it out was, okay, I'm associated with him because you two were intertwined together. And, oh, I, that's who I must be getting mixed up with. I like to think maybe I helped him sometimes, not just hurt him, but it sounds like I mostly hurt his prospects. Yeah, it's, just a, little, it's a little crazy. <laughs> From this angle, it's like, what? Hey, man, you hate me. Yeah, I know. I saw, I'm really no hate. Just just trying to relate facts, okay? That's what it's, it's called. Facts kicks ass. Facts kicks right? ass. Yeah. We're about from facts. facts to facts. We're, yes, we're changing. And speaking of. April 15th, it's tax kicks ass. <laughs> Right? Oh, well, <laughs> like we all know that. Okay, so how did you get involved in the music industry? Did you grow up singing, performing? Yeah, um, for me personally, uh, I started rhyming around six years old. My oldest brother, uh, Landis Bangs, rest in peace, he um, started rhyming and kind of had a little bit of a buzz around the city. And so he inspired me to kind of rhyme. My middle brother, James, he also freestyled a lot. So that's kind of where I got both of those skills from. You flash forward a few years, I started writing, kind of created my own style. And uh, at June 6, 2009, at the age of 17, I performed at the Dragons Den for the very first time. And uh, it was addictive. That live aspect is just one of my favorite things. And you flash forward a few years, and we are on the cover of Offbeat. Oh! All sooky sooky now. <laughs> This is incredible, yeah. guys. And I had to laminate it and print it myself because Offbeat isn't physical anymore. Offbeat's fully digital. So Alfred Banks went to a print shop oh, himself. Yeah, you best believe. Took screenshots. Yes, and we I did. didn't bring the collated booklet he made as if it was a master's thesis. That's yeah, incredible. But he binder. did make his own magazine because he said, no, no, print media. I'm bringing you back. 100%, man. So this is a very, very big honor right here. It's super cool. Absolutely. Was that a dream of yours to be on yes. print magazines? So this is why it's a big deal to go yeah. and get it laminated and be like, I'm going to be of course, on the of day course, cover. Of course. The thing is, this is our first cover together. And so I'm super excited about that because we've been working very hard for the past like year uh, specifically to kind of get things going. And some of the love and energy we've been getting is just so cool. So to see it kind of reverberate through the city and start to really make a uh, make an impact is beautiful, man, because me and this man work very hard on our music and on our craft. So this is really, really cool. Was it your dream to be making this face? No. On, I will say on, when I first saw the picture, I was like, what? But I love it, man. Can you make man. that face for us? <laughs> yeah. I. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's actually how you look in some of your videos that I've watched from the music videos that you guys do. So we have we have a weird dynamic. It's like he's the guy that will go there, and I'm more the straight guy that's like, I don't really want to. Do I'm trying that. to drag him along. Most of our relationship, maybe what makes us unique, back to the earlier question, is um, me testing Alfred's boundaries and him resisting them. <laughs> a good push pull balance. Yeah, it's Big a tension. Facts. There's Big a narrative facts. built in. Take us for relationships, people. All right, so at what point do you feel you really became successful that you're like, I'm making it? Um, Has that happened yet? I mean, <laughs> we're here. I mean, we're, in low, we're in the WWL. We're in the WWL. I mean, I feel like right yeah. now we made it right here because we're a French Quarter Fest, baby. On, man. on Friday on the Jack Daniels stage at 210 at Spanish Plaza with Colleen on, in the man. WWL tent on it's the river. Up. So, so we made the it. And it's stuck. stuck and it won't come down. Yeah. I feel like we made it. I feel like I've arrived now. Yeah. So tell us about what instruments you play. You're diverse with I your play hand. saxophone and flute and piano and bass and drums and guitar. I played tuba in the eighth grade. I played bassoon in the ninth grade. And uh, I've stuck a clarinet in my mouth before. Okay. All Any right. that you, what? No, I, right. I didn't hear anything. I mean, did you actually? I tried. Notes? It didn't sound good. Okay. No. <laughs> you said what I play, not what I was good at. Ah, so what are you actually good at? Saxophone All of the above. and flute. Okay, just sax yeah. No, the other ones are pretty bad. But Make it till you make it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's what? a montage that you posted recently too, where you actually incorporated multiple instruments, but it was all you playing. Yeah, I learned how to um, I learned how to edit myself in, so I was playing like bass and drums and piano and sax and flute. Yeah. It's amazing. It, it's it was really, really cool. Amazing. And I've been loving. I've been like really practicing the instruments. That's what I love to do. I've learned a lot about myself, especially over the past year, um, doing this project with Alfred, about what's actually sustainable for me as an artist. What do I actually like? And it's playing the instruments. Like, I live and breathe to just, like, play along to records of people I love, learn stuff, and then compose music and record it in myself. I, I just love that. And it's, like, it's what makes me happy. And it's, it's what I do. And so, like, I don't know. I just, I can't even describe it. It's kind of new to me to feel like I was so focused on, like, Honestly, like when I was in 
sixth grade, I saw a great saxophonist named Kirk Whalen play for the first time. And I was like, I just want to play saxophone or something and like tour the world and stuff. And I, and I did that at 23. And then after that, it was like, oh shit, like what do I do? Oh crap, what do I do now? And then I like, I just was like, well, I got to focus on the instruments. I got to double down on what makes me happy. And that's the instruments. And, uh, you know, not using profanity on uh, WWL. <laughs> Thank you for that's that. That's what makes me happy. That's what makes me happy, you know? I, yeah. I, I, so yep. Where are some of the places that both of you have traveled separately together? Oh, the man. World? Um, we recently just started kind of touring. So things kind of changed for us this past August of 2023 is when the social media kind of started making some noise, uh, going viral, as it were. And uh, so we just started touring. We just did our first Texas run together. I mean, you know, let's some, some. We're 30 year olds talking about virality on social media. It's pretty normal. <laughs> uh, but we for, did our first uh, Texas run. Uh, Dallas, I'm sorry, Fort Worth, uh, Austin, Houston, all those shows are really cool. We had the Midwest, we did uh, Chicago, Milwaukee, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. Those shows are incredible. Uh, we did Charlotte, North Carolina on a Wednesday night, and it was really, really cool. Um, an experience I'm sure me and you both would never forget uh, as it pertains to some of the people in the crowd. It was fun. Uh, but now nah, we're really starting to hit the road together, and, but separately, I mean, this man is Romania, right? Well, going all over the world. and we're putting out a song every month. Every single month. And that's yeah. going to actually increase us to be able to go out on the road. And you, maybe you can just make a lot of rotations around the world. We are so looking forward to both of your success together. We appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. And check them out, 2 o'clock at the Jack Daniels Days. Sax kicks out, baby. Thank you, Colleen.